Hello, today's the 31st of August, which means it is Hall of Faves time again. So welcome to the August Hall of Faves. Hall of Faves. Hall of Faves. Now August is pretty well my favourite month of all time, probably because it's my birthday month and also it's winter, so that's a beautiful combination. I'm a very big birthday person, so... I just always, I just get it so excited, like even if I'm not doing anything, birthdays are just so exciting to me. So I guess the first few things I'll show you today are birthday gifts, so this is kind of, yeah, a birthday haul combo to the Hall of Faves. The first is this, which I kind of hate but also kind of love. It's a snow globe to add to the collection. However, this one uh, features green tree frogs and I am not okay with that species. One night... I was on YouTube and I was on YouTube quite late into the evening, into the point where you start watching like 9-11, Elisa Lam, conspiracy videos and I eventually got so deep that I started watching frog feeding videos. I didn't know that frogs ate other larger live animals. They don't have teeth, they've got those like fingers with the pads on them. They're icky. They're yucky creatures. However, <laughs> these videos, these frogs were like grabbing whole mice, live mice, and just cuddling them so tight and just swallowing them whole. It was, look, it was terrible. It was an awful experience. And since then, I am not okay with this little slimy green creature. I guess at the very least, he is entombed in a snow globe, so I guess he's not going anywhere to harm me. So thank you, Jamin, but yes, sadly, green tree frogs are evil creatures in my books, so yikes. A couple of my friends chipped in and achieved one of my 14-year-old dreams, and that is to send me to a Panic at the Disco concert. So I'm going to see Panic at the Disco. I don't think it's till, like, next January, but I'm going. I'm excited. Brendan's going to be there. I'm going to be there. And the last birthday gifty I will show you is this one. This here is a framed poster from Stoker. Stoker's one of my all-time favourite movies. This is from Jake, by the way. He loves Stoker too. It's just like style goals, filming and editing goals. Just everything about Stoker is just beautiful. I 100% recommend it. Have you not already watched it? And I don't know where to put this. I don't know if this should go like down in my room that has all the DVDs and stuff already or if I should put it on a different wall. I have lots of walls to choose from so that's kind of half the battle. But thank you all. Thank you everyone for making my birthday special this year. I had a beautiful cake. My friend Brittany made this cake that was delicious but just enormous and so I've been freezing it and like just hacking off a little slither and defrosting it as the month progressed. Like I still have not much but I still have some left today which I might which I might eat today, you know? And then after my birthday simmered down, things have just got crazy. I launched my website, glorified blog, tbh, but catgutsuniverse.com, which is really exciting for me. If you haven't checked it out already, please do so. It's mobile interface friendly. Thanks, Squarespace. It's not sponsored. It's not sponsored by Squarespace, but I wish it was. I went and saw Melanie Martinez with Jake. That was okay. <laughs> Yeah, so the issue with the Melanie Martinez concert was it was an all-ages event. I'd not realised this. I'd assumed it was 18+, plus just because of the venue that it was at is generally a, a bar situation. So on the evening of the concert, Jake was already there lining up because he likes to get places early, which is fine. And I was at home and I was having a few drinks, like, getting ready because Jake and I were like, yeah, we're going to get lit and Melanie, blah. And I texted him and I was like, hey, I'm just having a drink um, and then I'll call my Uber, blah, blah. And he was like, a drink, but it's all ages. And I was like, is it? It certainly was all ages. There were so many, like, I guess, te like, teens are fine. Like, I can't really drag them too much. I'm barely not a teen myself. But... There were parents there that had brought like seven to ten year old girls and I guess like the Melanie Martinez, the crybaby aesthetic looks kind of kiddie friendly. Like the content really isn't like, that's not my place to judge but these kids were problematic to my life. So uh, the concert was at the Tivoli and the Tivoli has 
a, like a large floor space with the Bosch pit and the bar on each side, blah, blah. And there's also a mezzanine floor, which has a big um, balcony with a big railing. So we went straight upstairs. It was me, Jake, and a bunch of Jake's friends. And we were up against the, up against the railing on the mezzanine. So we had a pretty good view. And what do you do at concerts when you want, when you get a good spot and you want to maintain it? You just have to stand in that one spot for like two and a half hours or however long it takes for the main act to come on. That's, that's how concert, that's concerts. Like, oh, you can probably see where this story is going, but you know, if I pay $85 to go to something, so the support comes on, the support act, blah, blah, nothing really happens. Melanie is about to come on and then Melanie does come on. And then all of a sudden I start getting hassled by various mothers who want me to get out of the way for their children. Now I haven't paid $85 like you have to stand in one spot for two and a half hours when you've just arrived and now you're telling me to move? Like these women were like, hey, can you move? Like, can you come stand back here? And I was like, what? Like, Melanie's like, the main act is on stage right now and you're trying to get a good spot now. Like, and it happened three times. I had two mums that were like, can my daughter stand in front of you? Can you move back? Can you move to the side? It was a packed, it was a sold out gig. There was nowhere physically for me to move to except like completely remove myself from the crowd, which of course I wasn't gonna do. And then another guy was like, hey, uh, my friend's small, so what are you gonna do about it? And I was like, maybe you should have got here early and waited, like all of the people that are at the front. That's how, that's how you get to the front at a gig unless you're some kind of fight club champion. I'm not personally. But, and you know, then I felt bad because I, because these people were getting really like, come on, honey, let's go. Aside from that, Melanie was great. I love the set design. I love the whole cry baby saga. It's beautiful. And her costume was really cool too. She had this dress with these big kind of puffy sleeves, but they were like a pearlescent sheer fabric. And then she had a little baby pink fur cape on. <sighs> I want, I mean, you know how I feel about capes. <laughs> I loved it, I loved it so much. What else in August? Um, Cape Lookbook came out, really proud of that. I'm really keen to do more, kind, I don't wanna say fashion, cause I'm by no means someone who's qualified to talk about that, um, but some kind of fashion related lookbooky things are in the works, which I think you're gonna really enjoy and I'm really excited about. So I'm gonna do more of that. So thank you for feedback on the Cape Lookbook. It's, it was my first one and it was took a really long time to edit <laughs> so i'm glad that people enjoyed it also egg i know i think egg came out on like july 30th but that was such a good experience that has poured over the love has poured over into august and it's actually been shortlisted for a short film festival in november i can't attend because i will be away but that's really cool it's crazy to think that this little paper mache blob we started whacking together in march has become this strange thing that everyone keeps asking me to explain to them and I'm like we never got that far <laughs> it's open to interpretation okay but if you've not watched egg I've got the behind the scenes here on my channel and the final film is over on Jake's channel Grimbalism so you should check that out I got two pieces of clothing this month the first is this top which I am fashioning right now as I like I'm in a really weird position I'm kind of really chilling chilling on the bed. I first filmed this video standing up and then I didn't like it because I didn't know what to do with my limbs. So I'm back down here on the bed now. But yeah, this is a uh, polo by Lazy Oaf. I resisted, I resisted for so long buying this because I thought it was a little expensive for what it is. I eventually gave in, clearly, here we are. But I love polos, that little kind of sporty edge. But I also love breakfast, and you've seen my egg accessories before. Sadly, this one isn't glow in the dark, but still good. So now I can be a breakfast princess, but heading to a Wimbledon match. That kind of sporty, breakfasty collide. I like that a lot. And the second top I was wearing just a minute ago, I changed into this top to shoot like an insert of me modeling it for the purpose of this video and then I decided to just sit down and film it because <laughs> I wasn't comfy standing up. So I guess to show you me modeling that I will just flick back to me talking in the original clip. It is this shirt I am wearing right now. It is from Revival. 
It's got some little snippers on the collar there. The only downside to this top is people will keep asking me if I'm a hairdresser. So I don't know why scissors are a sole connotation to hairdressery, but a lot of people have been like, oh, you're a hairdresser. And I'm like, oh, no. So yeah, this pretty well wraps up the August Hall of Faves. I hope you enjoyed this kind of quite casual sit down version. Um, I'm almost lying down like this. See, if I bend this arm, I disappear. <laughs> really just super chill today. I pretty much have the next few months worth of videos already planned out to some extent. But if you do have any ideas or suggestions, requests, something you want me to talk about with you, don't hesitate to put it down below in the comments or communicate with me in some other form of contact. Just provided it doesn't involve any green tree frogs because they are an unclean beast that I don't want a part of this one, unless it's confined. Unless it's a frog in a very confined space, I don't wanna know about it. So feel free to have a chat with me here or on whatever other social platform you desire to. Check out some of my other videos, go on my website, do whatever you want really. I'm about to bend this elbow, finally. <laughs> Cause I've been leaning on it this entire video and probably lie down and have a little nap. So that's my afternoon sorted. I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you in my next one. Bye.